Breaking art rules. Cezanne made a painting once where you saw a fruit bowl. The thing with fruit bowls, though, is that they tend to be symmetrical and in his painting the fruit bowl wasn't symmetrical at all. It's not that he couldn't paint symmetric fruit bowls, he had proper training at an art academy, he was perfectly capable of painting a perfectly symmetrical fruit bowl. Paint tubes causing problems. Why did Cezanne deviate from the circular symmetric shape of the fruit bowl? To understand this, we have to go back in time a bit. The tube of paint had just been invented, allowing painters to go outside and paint scenery from observation. And what they discovered, to their dismay, was that the lighting outside was very different. In a studio, you would have a model and you would have light shine on the model, and on the other side, the model would be lit up slightly by the light reflected from the surroundings. This turned out not to be the same outside. Light and and shade looked very different outside due to the different natures of lamps and the light coming from the sun. Outside, everything tended to be more evenly lit by the sun and so when the first painters came back with paintings they had made outside from observation, their paintings would have these evenly lit faces on them, for example. At first, the other artists didn't believe them, but soon they found out that this was indeed the case and that this was indeed what things looked like outside. The problem with that was that artists had been very creative with the shadow parts in their paintings. They had taken the liberty of changing shadows a bit here and there to arrive at better looking compositions. They had modified the shapes of the shadows to arrive at better looking abstract shapes on the canvas. A layperson tends not to see this, but the painters of that time didn't faithfully copy what they saw. They composed and designed their images. They changed things by removing or adding elements or they moved things around. They changed the shadow shapes to make them more pleasing and better fit the composition. Cezanne's solutions. This is the problem which Cezanne set out to solve. How do you get design back into your painting again, if you don't have the option of modifying the shadow shapes because there are no shadow shapes to begin with? He came up with the solution of modifying the underlying volumes of the objects so that they, in their entirety, became more pleasing shapes. Now that he couldn't meddle with the shapes of the shadows, he decided to find out what happens if he transformed the shapes of the entire objects themselves instead. The deformed fruit bowl in Cezanne's painting is an example of that. The fruit bowl in this painting does not look like what a real fruit bowl looks like in real life. We can see that Cezanne deformed its shape and how his artistic choice served the composition of the painting. We are indebted to him for this discovery. He came up with a novel solution to a creative problem. Artists still use that today. I believe it is an important reason why we still know about him. There are many capable artists, but not many who come up with new solutions to creative problems. What it means to be original. To me, being original is not about doing something no one else has done before. That in itself is boring, I think. Burn a piece of wood and hang it in a museum, why don't you? Great, congratulations, you did something no one else had done before. But what was the point? What creative problem was the artist trying to solve? Cezanne did not break the rules, as they say. He prioritized the rules. He made the accuracy of outlines have lower priority than control over the design of the abstract shapes on the canvas. The difference is slight but important. Breaking rules is about tossing away a rule without putting something else back in its place, just to be free to do what you want. That is not what he did though. He decided to make something else even more important. He decided to let go of the accuracy of the representation of shapes to gain more control over the abstract design of the picture, something that he valued more highly. Another example. Andy Warhol came up with the idea of mass producing art. Before that time, art had to be made by hand, by the artist or by apprentices. He wasn't against making things by hand, but he decided to try to use factory reproduction methods to see where that led him artistically, to see what he could make with those tools which artists generally didn't use. It ended up yielding higher production volumes which, intended or not, was a benefit. Many artists, some very big names in contemporary art, have since followed suit and produced art that way after that. It's not that others hadn't done it before him. Rembrandt and his contemporaries had made and sold etchings, but in the time of Rembrandt, the word art had not been invented yet. Rembrandt and his peers were seen as craftsmen. Today, as a challenge, see if there are things you would like to try which artists are not supposed to do and see where that leads you. Or look at the creative problem you're struggling with and see if you can do things differently in such a way that it solves your creative problem. Thank you for drawing.